Greetings happy coders and welcome to another video and today I am going to show you how to go from this code which of course is bipolar sounds like this copyright strike incoming <laughs> probably but anyway um, not to worry how we go from that over to this So yeah, basically what you can see here is in-game beeper music for ADD. Now, I did something on this oh, a couple of years ago, I think, and uh, not the first person to do it either, I'm sure. But uh, Sebastian Brownett asked me about it. He wanted to put it in one of his new games. And obviously, most of you probably know I've been playing about with Manic Miner quite a lot recently with making Perils of Willy. And uh, obviously that has in-game beeper music, I know how it works. So it wasn't too difficult for me to adapt that code over to run within um, ADD. So obviously I posted about that on Facebook. There was a few people that were interested. So I figured I'd make a nice easy routine for you guys and show you how to do it. So let's switch back to Bipolar now for a moment. So here you can see, well, I've got a, I've basically got a 64 note tune here. It goes all the way down to 64. It's off screen there, but not to worry. Uh, there's a blank template, which uh, I've included in the zip file. So you can create your own um, tunes. I'll just shift this up just a touch so you can see. That's a bit clearer. So basically to do this, you start off in Bipolar. You use the ROM beep engine. And you create a track, a single pattern, which is 64 in length. I've got the tempo at 15. It doesn't matter because the tempo will be dictated by the code within AGD. And then you basically put your tune in here. And if you want to have gaps in here, you can. Uh, slightly different to Manic Minor, this code does allow gaps in between the notes. So if you prefer that, then you can do that. All right, so basically, uh, Bipolar, there are full instructions. It's a, it's a really nice package. And um, I'll just check the credits. And indeed, it's made by uh, Chris Cowley, so great work. Um, I've used this in other videos to show you how to make uh, beeper music for the menu and so on. But in this case, we're looking at in-game, simple beeper music, something akin to what you find in games like... Uh, Manic Miner and uh, others. So exactly what tune you make is entirely up to you. Basically you just create it in here. There are instructions. Uh, I don't really need to go into all of that. What I will do is show you now how to um, export it and then from there to import it into AGD. That's the main thing. So assuming that you've already made your tune and you're happy, we'll now make the next step forward. So I'll just shift up a little bit here. So what you need to do is go to Tools, go to Compile Song. Address doesn't matter, border doesn't matter. We won't bother with that. We're going to we're going to it's going to use black border by default. So um, yeah, I've made the code as small as possible, so there isn't an option for other border colors, but that's okay. Now you need to choose here Output Type Song Data Only Binary. Make sure this says ROM Beep. The rest of this doesn't matter because we're going to convert the data. Okay, so we go into here and I'm going to put in here uh, get enough bipolar.bin and you can see 134 bytes, so that's standard for that. And uh, yeah, so that's that part of it. Now all we need to do is switch over to AGDX and convert it into the format that we want. So as you can see, this is version 4N3. 
C. This is because I've now added the option to convert bipolar tunes uh, using a data tool. So when, when we're in the menu here, we'll go to data, we'll press D. And here, as you can see, we have a new option, bipolar convert. And this works in a very simple way. All you do is you press B, comes up with this option, load song data to 16384. That's screen memory. It's up here. I've actually cleared it out with attributes so you won't see it. But all you need to do is load the binary data in. So load binary data. And as you can see here, there's my bipolar. Just put something like that at the end so you know the difference because this one is one that we can create, which is basically the file that we're going to use to load the data in to AGD. So first of all, we just import our binary at 16384. Okay, that's now held at the screen memory. And all we need to do now is press a key. And it now says export 64 bytes from 16384. So it's the same place, but it's converted it into a 64 byte file. So all we need to do now is save the binary data. I'm going to call this one get enough new, just so that you know that it's a fresh one that we've just made. And we say 16384, 64 bytes, like that. Okay, so that's basically done. So we now have a binary which we can use. Obviously we can't play anything yet because we don't have uh, an engine or a player. So the next thing that we need to do is load the binary in. That is to say the uh, routine for running the song. So, okay, bear with me just a second. So usually with small routines like this, we load them into the character set. Uh, more advanced users will be aware that you can create uh, memory elsewhere. And the thing about this routine is that it's designed to be 100% uh, portable. So that basically means that it can be put anywhere uh, that you have free space. I uh, did that just to make it easy because obviously here there's a character set. And um, some people use sort of user-defined characters here or here and so on. So you can basically choose where you want to put it. Um, I believe it is uh, 14 characters roughly, so there's a, enough space sort of here. Yep, there's just enough space to fit it in there between the speech marks and the backslash there, forward slash. Uh, very common place that I often use is right here at address 31704. That would take us up to about here, but if you've used some of these characters, then you can start it anywhere further along here as well if you prefer. You basically need uh, 14 characters including the tune so it doesn't take up a huge amount of space. So for the purpose of the demo I'm going to load it in at 31704. Here we go. So I basically choose beep tune. I load it in 31704. Jump out jump back in and here you can see we've got the code and here is blank space and that's where our song data is actually going to go. So the song data actually starts 44 bytes ahead of the position that you begin at. So if you if you load in at 31704 then the song data is actually going to start here at 31748. So I'm going to basically load it in at 31748. This one. Okay, we'll go back and now you can see you've got the data here for the tune almost looks like one of those uh, pinhole things that's used on those, old, those old sort of 19th century pianos. Pianola, I think it's called, isn't it? It's very similar and, and it works in a similar way. So basically, it's that's, that's the tune data there. And um, 
that's it we're ready we're pretty much ready to go there now so how do we make it run well basically it plays a single note in a loop so what we need to do is just put it into the main loop here and we just call it 205 216 123 I'll just go back and show you that this is where I've loaded it in and this these two numbers here 216 123 that tells me where the code begins so if you loaded it up over here for example then you would write 205 16122 and instead of loading the data the song data in where I did you would load it in 44 bytes ahead of this number here so you can put it there uh, but right here it's uh, perfectly fine like that so let's see if that's worked as you can see that does actually work but it is a little bit fast so all we need to do is much like the animations in AGD if they're going a little bit too fast it's going every cycle we can use a simple routine to alter it so what I'll do is put something like this if m equals 0 let m1 else let m0 okay so those of you that know about slowing down animations that's a very simple way to create a a loop which will cause the code to be run every other step let's try it again So there you go, that works fine. If you wanted to do something a little bit slower, you could change the code here. Let's say something like if m is greater than 2, let m equal 0, add 1 to m here. So there you go, you can make it a bit slower. I doubt you would want it to be much slower than that, however. But it's entirely up to you. Okay, so that is essentially how it works. We can run a little test here just to make sure that it runs within the game and fast enough. So I'll just switch this over to a 1. a nice pace isn't it okay let's create a sprite simple thing I'll just use the mirror option here we'll just create I don't know something that'll do okay I'll create a few of those on screen like this Okay, I'll switch templates on and just I'll create uh, bouncers and I'll turn off collision detection and animation because we don't need it. And so if you now run it, You go simple as that now uh, for more advanced users we could add a longer tune say 128 if we basically combined two 64 uh, tunes together now to do that we need to change the code very slightly and you can actually do that if you go to the character set here and you go one character ahead you'll see this line here this one right here that is a binary 63 and that's controlling the number of notes so it's like a mask so if we change it to here 127 that now means we're going to have 127 uh, 128 I should say notes instead of 63 so we basically double it 
and that would allow us to load in a second tune. So let's try an experiment and see if we can do something with that. So I've just added a few extra notes in here. I'll let you listen to that. Okay, so we could follow the, exactly the same routine. Compile the song. Song data only, ROM beep, there we go. Now we'll go to Get Enough Bipolar 2. Save that as a binary, that's 134 bytes. Now we'll switch back to AGD. Here we are in AGD. Go to Data, Bipolar Convert, Load Binary Data, Get Enough Bipolar 2, 16384. Converted, file, save binary data, get enough new two, one, six, three, eight, four, sixty four bytes, like that. And we know that basically now we just need to load it in here, and it will be four bytes ahead of this point. Sorry, it's going to be. Uh, just about, well, it's basically 64 ahead, so let's just figure that out. So the original is at 31, uh, <laughs> 31748, right here, isn't it? Yeah, 31748. And uh, we're going to go across to just across here, 317, 318, yeah, 31812. So, yeah, that's the end of our data here. And this is just the residual character, the, uh, the letter H, isn't it? That's the residual data. So we can load it in there, 31812. So if we load that in, 31812, that would be This one, I just remember, remind myself which one is which. 31812. Okay, if we go back, we exit. Okay, there you go. So now you can see that there is now a 128 byte routine there. And I've set the mask here to be 127. So let's try that now. go so that works perfectly doesn't it so that's just a slightly more advanced way if you wanted to have a longer tune uh, again just to just to show you it's a very simple mask so you can't uh, limit the number of down to say 196 or a specific number it just has to be a binary number so um, I mean a factor of two I should say 63 um, or uh, 127 or 255. So obviously if I wanted a much longer tune then I could put that in there, that would be 255. Let's see what happens if I switch it back to 31 it's only playing the first 32 notes now. And um, yeah, you could change that mask to whatever you want, but basically 63 would be for a 64 note tune and 127 like that. Okay, so that is it basically. I think that will just about cover it. All the instructions are in the file as well. So I look forward to seeing you guys uh, making games with this little trick. So uh, yeah, I look forward to that. And uh, obviously at the moment, this is April 2020, the world is in lockdown, everyone's struggling. So I'd like to wish you all uh, very good health and happiness. And uh, let's hope that uh, we'll all come through this safely. And in the meantime, happy coding. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. <laughs>